To begin, place a mouse cage with bedding on a heat block to warm for post-operative recovery. Set up an electric razor for shaving the head and ethanol and iodine to sterilize the scalp. Use 70% ethanol to wipe down ear bars and mouth hold of the stereotax. Using a 5 microliter Hamilton syringe, draw up 5 microliters of viral vector and set it up in a syringe holder on the stereotax. Place a microwaved heating pad or an electric pad on the stereotax. After injecting the mouse with an IP injection of a ketamine xylazine cocktail according to the text protocol, perform a tail pinch to check the level of sedation. Next, shave the head between the ears and eyes and use sterile cotton applicators to clean the area with alternating washes of ethanol and iodine. Then, transfer the mouse to the heated pad on the stereotax. Zero the tooth bar and ear bar scales and set the mouse's teeth in the tooth bar. Screw in the muzzle and the ear bars. If any wiggling or whisker movement is noted, administer a booster dose of ketamine xylazine cocktail. Then, lubricate the eyes to prevent them from drying. Next, using a scalpel, cut open the scalp to just behind the ears. Place bulldog clips on the corners of the scalp to peel away the skin from the skull, making sure bregma and lambda are easily visible. Ensure that the suture from bregma to lambda is aligned, and reposition the head if necessary. After confirming that the stereotax settings are zeroed, put the needle tip in place at bregma. Measure the dorsal ventral, medial lateral, and anterior posterior coordinates for both bregma and lambda. Then, adjust the head until the ventral coordinates for bregma and lambda are within 0.02 millimeters of each other. Recenter the needle tip on bregma, and from that point, move in the anterior posterior direction to the desired coordinate. Next, drill a borehole at the desired coordinate, checking that the needle is able to enter through uninterrupted by the skull. Then, lower the needle to the desired ventral coordinate. Once the coordinate is reached, dip 0.015 millimeters below it for around 10 seconds to create a small pocket for the viral vector. At a rate of roughly 0.1 microliters per minute, inject the desired volume of viral vector. After waiting 3 minutes for the viral vector to diffuse, raise the needle tip 0.015 millimeters and wait an additional 2 minutes. When the injections are complete, apply bone wax to seal both holes and then suture the scalp. Finally, apply nerve block to the wounded area. Remove the mouse from the stereotax and place it in a warmed cage on a heat block to recover for 45 minutes to an hour. Let the mouse recover for at least 10 days to allow for maximal creactivation. Give the animal water and softened food and buprenorphine twice daily if necessary. For